So one of the things that um, I'm seeing so much in my practice at the moment and is causing so much distress to so many dogs and owners is pancreatitis. So I'd like to get a bit more of an understanding. Um, first of all, what is pancreatitis? You know, what is classified as a diagnosis of pancreatitis? Well, pancreas is a mechanical, almost mechanical organ or chemical organ that produces the bile for us, for right. the dogs to uh, break down the food that reaches already the intestinal tract. Yeah. And uh, its job is to create enzymes and hormones to regulate the, the body. And, uh, and the sugar and protein and fat metabolism. And it's directly connected to everything that happens in the body through food yeah. and the intake of nutrients. Yeah. So pancreatitis is the term for this organ cannot do its job anymore properly or not at all. And the reason for that is the pancreas is not doing its job properly mm. after doing too many over hours and producing too many juices, too many enzymes yeah. to break down the food that shouldn't be a part of a dog's diet. Yeah. So what I'd like to have a talk about is, first of all, I'd like to have a look at what sort of symptoms my owners might um, notice so they can pick up on this quickly. Because one of the things I do know is the quicker it's picked up on and the changes are made, the better the chance of a successful recovery. So let, let's start with that. What sort of symptoms would a dog owner notice? Because they can be quite wide ranging, can't they? That is they? correct. So the, the problem starts here actually how the dog is uh, being fed. Yeah. Because pancreatitis means the pancreas doesn't do its job. But uh, if the dog eats a, on heavy on uh, carbohydrates, yeah. then it becomes diabetic. Mm. And if it eats too, too much protein, cannot break down because not enough stomach acid or whatever, and it gets tired very quickly. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, the skin is not good anymore. Many things are breaking down. Because think about it. If you cannot absorb your nutrients anymore, mm. many systems can fail uh, on a daily basis. Yeah. So, so what would an owner notice? What would be the early warning signs for an owner that this was happening to their dog? Well, again, um, the stool can be... Uh, seen that the stool is not right, the yeah. dog has digestive pain, there yeah. is a, a lot of uh, sensitivity in the belly. When you play with your dog around, you, you get these reactions or small sounds that uh, it's, uh, it's painful on the pancreatic yeah. area. And then you have um, yeah, fatigue quickly yeah. and, uh, and the, the eyes are not lively, the, the dog is not alert or yeah. it's just... Might notice something with the breath as well. Well, it is possible, but then yeah. you have to be careful with that because you can also have parasites and yeah. the, the breath can change, you know, yeah. uh, or uh, tooth decay. Yeah. But yeah, the breath has its own, uh, it shows that the digestive tract is uh, not yeah. uh, happy it's about not, what you're not doing. not working properly. Yeah. So let's go on to some of the causes as to why we're seeing so much of it now. Um, uh, uh, we know it's down to sort of dogs eating diet that yeah. isn't appropriate for them so that it's making their body work too hard to digest it so yeah. what so what typical things because the first thing that most people mention is fat actually rather than carbohydrates when it comes to pancreatitis and get your dog off fat well yes and oils uh yes and no so um it depends so if if you are on a high fat diet mm. then yeah that's the first choice you have right if you have a whole high carbohydrate diet the dog can have a longer how do you say it uh performance on uh, breaking down carbohydrates than fat because when the fat is really high yeah it stops protein to be uh, also digested in the stomach already yeah so yeah. The, the fat can interfere in many levels with the digestion yeah if it's too high so let's say a normal rabbit would have like seven to eleven percent of fat or let's say twelve percent yeah let's say maximum super fat bunny. rabbit bunny <laughs> has fifteen percent of body fat yeah that's the maximum the dog would get. Yeah. So if you have already 20, 30, 40, sometimes 50, 60 percent of fat in these raw sausages or other food that is full of oils, then you suddenly introduce a lot of fat that first interferes with the digestion mm. of protein. It stops a lot of B vitamins and vitamin C from absorption because yeah. they are water-based and you know it doesn't mix well. And then uh, the pancreas has to produce a lot of juice yeah. to break down this fat with bile salts, bind it so it can be absorbed. Mm. So in long term, 
it really, really tires uh, the pancreas yeah. heavily. But equally, they need a, a, a normal amount of fat in their diet. That they do correct. need some because people can go the, the other way and take them off the it enemy, completely. But the fat is not the enemy. But if you have too much of it, too much of good yeah. stuff, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. And so talk me through the carbohydrate because a lot of dog foods now are very high in carbohydrates of very different forms. How yes. will that affect the workload of the pancreas? First of all, carbohydrates are the cheapest way of bringing energy into the body. Yeah. So if you look from an um, economical, financial point of view, mm. it makes sense to fill the food with carbohydrates because the cheapest, the quickest energy source. Mm. But on the other hand, dogs are not carbohydrate eaters. I mean, they can eat small amounts and they can definitely survive with higher amounts. Yeah. But survival comes always with a price. Yeah. So it's not thriving, it's just survival. Exactly, right? and I think this is where we've got to really get people to look at. There's a big difference between keeping your dog alive yeah. and actually having long-lasting health that and is, vitality. That is correct. And the carbohydrate content, that's really the most important thing for today's dog food or the biggest problem mm. in dog food is we feel things in that the dog is not meant to eat. Yeah. But they are good on paper. So they exactly. feel, the, feel the numbers well for a good production price. Yeah. And it's suddenly, of course, it becomes the first choice yeah. when we feed the dogs with. But yeah. uh, in reality, dog's body can so long uh, keep up with it yeah. and you will get the signals sooner yeah. or later. And unfortunately, many dogs get to the stage that by the time the owners really realize how serious a problem it is, it can be fatal. But if you're suspecting that your dog's struggling with this and showing only signs, then what can an owner do? What's your best advice that All they right. can do? Best, be, my best advice is if the pancreas is really, really overused, yeah. then just give it a small break. Okay, so one you're talking day, about a day, one day of fasting, food completely? The one day or two days. Yeah. With lots of fresh water. Yeah. And maybe a very small snack in between. Yeah. But nothing fatty and nothing high in carbohydrate. Mm. So that the body can really relax yeah. and repair. Yeah. So that is actually the second part why dogs are getting a lot of pancreatitis because they are eating too much yeah. and too often. Like us. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we, is, a lot is, of people introduce so, the same feeding habits that, that they've then moved towards, haven't they, into their yeah. dogs. I always say that uh, what I say to my family too. So what you think, what your culture is, what your mm. lifestyle is, has no bearing on your uh, intestinal tract. Mm. It functions the way it functions. Mm. You have to respect it. It cannot respect your life. Yeah. Right? So this is the same with the dog. Dog's body works like the dog's body work. Yeah. Not important if you like to go to Starbucks yeah. now or if you have to work 10 hours. Yeah. It will not change anything. So this habit that a lot of people um, either feed their dogs two big meals a day or I see a lot of people with small dogs that will leave a bowl of kibble down all day and let them constantly graze, is which correct. isn't how dogs are designed to eat, is no, it? No, dogs are not uh, designed for grazing. Yeah. The reason for that is a uh, dog's body is built so that there is a lot of time in the stomach, the food mm. stays a lot, very long in the stomach and lives as quickly as possible. Yeah. Because the stomach is still the place that can contain the bacteria and just keep the food safe. Yeah. Right? But after that, after the stomach, the dangerous bacteria become mm. a threat. Yeah. So the food has to go quickly. Go quickly as, as yeah. Yeah. As good as possible. Yeah. So because of that, the food that the dog eats has to be mm. digestible in the stomach, which is yeah. only protein. Only protein, really. yeah. <laughs> because the protein rest cannot be digested there, yeah. right? And then the rest has a very short time yeah. to be digested. And this shows, actually, yeah. what the dog should eat. Because the dog cannot digest big amounts of carbohydrates or fat yeah. in this short time, in this tiny length mm. of an intestinal tract. Cats mm. are even worse, but let's say. Yeah. yeah? So... That's why it yeah. doesn't make sense to think I let my dog eat the whole day yeah. and be healthy because the system is made to eat mm. and get rid of it. And just a final thing, I think it's quite important, isn't it, that if you're feeding the dog once a day, make sure they have quite a few hours, as many hours as possible, rest after that That's feed. That's for sure. That's so why not... the evening hours are yeah, the best. Yeah, feed it in the uh, evening and then they can yeah, yeah. rest all night. You have to know that, again, we are coming back to pancreas, but pancreas is a super efficient organ to keep the blood sugar level, for yeah. dogs at least. So dogs can eat 
three days long, almost nothing. Yeah. They still have a very level uh, blood sugar. Yeah. And that also shows that dogs are not uh, meant to have a keto diet. But let's say that's another, yeah. another day's talk. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you.